opens up from that as well as the tractor. I get up and up from that as well as the tractor. It's you know work. If they got a bunch of punches, then I guess what I'll have to do is to take them back to you. Back at it again, and I've got a little bit more progress under my belt. Uh, I've got the uh, fuel tank back on, and I've made my own. I had to make a new bracket there because I broke the uh, broke the old one when I took it off. So I've made a new bracket. I've flushed this out the best I can. However, there is a little bit of uh, residue, like dust, uh, rust, should I say, inside and gunk that I cannot get out. But I've done the best I can, and I'm going to put this extra filter in line just so this catches anything before it gets to the main filter, etc., etc. Put the side rail back on, but. Um, Side rail is supposed to be level with that bolt there, uh, but I can't because I've got a big oil cooler and save cutting that much out of the plate, which makes it kind of pointless to be on. I just dropped it down and I'm going to weld extra plates in uh, to, to complete that bolt pattern. So it kind of drops down. I may even be able to like use I don't know if I, if I just check the measurements, I bet if I could like take that bottom corner off the big grinder and then put that on the top and weld it across there. So it drops down and then same at the back, picks back up again. Uh, so that's the plan so far, but I need that plate on in order to, um, in order to lift that fixed up. So originally it had a step on there, I've taken that off and that step would fix to there, but it doesn't because it's all different shape and geometry now. Uh, so I've got, where would I just put it? Here, a plate like this. Uh, I'm going to uh, drill it, the bolt holes to match up there and then mount it to there so that it can lift up and just pop two pins in. And those two pins will Hold it in place. Once I've got that done, I've also got this filler neck, which is a little bit cheapy crappy, but it'll do the job. I'm just working out whether to have it like on the front, so it's kind of like front and angled. Do I have it on the top so that it probably fill up a little bit nicer, but that's rounded on the edges, so it probably won't seal properly. So yeah, I think I'll just have it on the front there, like so, tucked in, and that's. That'd be a nice place to have it, so you can just fill it from the ground here instead of where it originally was, which is that hole there. That's why I don't need that step on there anymore. So we've got the uh, we've got the tank back on, and uh, ignore me welding there. That's yeah. Don't look at that. But uh, got the spout on, and got the bolts. I just need. Put the other bolt in there that's right i've got the pickup back on and i put a little inline filter there because i've been doing a little bit of drilling and cutting there's going to be some filings and some gunking still in there so hopefully this crappy little filter will pick up anything major before going through the main filter um but yeah i've not got the return in properly just because i want to i might just do some flushing out um with it but i'm just gonna or at least have it so that I can see it going through the system properly. But I'm just gonna drop some diesel in it now. And if if I can get the pickup pipe to pick up how it's supposed to, and it goes through the system, and that's the tank done. Job done. Um, I just need to set up a little vent because there's, there's nothing on this bit that's really particularly vented at the minute. But um, that shouldn't take too long. Oh. I just realised I've not put my steps back on. I was going to do that before I lifted it back up because it's hard to get in at the back. Bugger. I'm only going to take that one bolt out and then drop it back down and put the steps back on. So I'll do that now.
just cutting the uh, corners off of the the chassis rails and what I'm going to do is and use the opposite corners put put it on there take it bolt it on the top and weld it along there so it, it will drop and then continue the rail and then same at the back as well where it'll lift up and match the back bolts but I'm just starting the first put now just to show you what I mean that's where I've cut it off from and then that's where I'm going to weld it back on fortunately just by chance the bolt holes are the same distance apart um, there might be like a millimeter but I'm gonna bolt it on then weld it on and that way it's exactly where it needs to be but it gives that kind of dropped look and then it can go under the oil cooler and it doesn't hit anything like so isn't that just luck that's pretty good luck how that's the right distance it needs to be to be just welded up along there and once I've cut the bottom off then that bit goes on the other plate you can see the drop that it's supposed to be just going to try and tack that onto there when it's in place Switching my skin to on, that'll help. It's a shitty little welder, I know that. It does just glue things together while I can take it down to the big welder there. Also, for those of you wondering, I have unhooked the alternator while I'm doing some welding work. That is a must, otherwise you can fry your alternator. That's got it looking how I want now. You can see the lines there where I'm going to have to cut them off. And I've used the cutoffs off the other side, put them on this side, and then I'll use the cutoffs off this side and put them on the other side, just so that I can have a plate in place while I'm sticking them on. That means I can stick a bolt through there, and that's exactly where it needs to be welded on. So I've tacked them on. Uh, I'll whip this plate off now, see if I can get someone to give me a lift, because it's heavy and awkward to unbolt on your own, and then take it up to the other welder and get it welded up properly. So here we've got the littlest tractor I own and the biggest tractor I own. However, someone is coming to buy that this afternoon. It's been advertised in the marketplace for a bit and someone's finally interested. So that's going to go. Uh, it's been it's been in the garage all winter and uh, I've just come to start it and it doesn't start. And I haven't really got the time to bother. So someone's coming and just taking it away and having it. Um, so that's going. But yeah, these are coming together quite nicely, these plates. That's very satisfying how that's just happened, how that's happened. I say just happened, like, it wasn't an accident. I've obviously machined it to that, but, oof. That's them now cut and tacked up. So we'll take them down to the big welder and get them welded up properly. What do you think, Rupert? Is it a good job? Are you happy? Yeah, I'll take your waggly tail as he's happy with it. I am. I think it'll, uh, I think it'll look quite smart once it's on. I don't think... I mean, this tractor's never going to work like it used to, but uh, I don't think they'll be quite as strong as they once were. It'll be better than nothing. And a lot of people take them off them side plates and uh, the fact that it'll go back on, yeah, it will, it, it will be better. <laughs> gentlemen looks pretty bloody proper to me so it's got it, it kicks back up at the back there i can clean all this weld up a different time if i go down the clean up route but for now it's just in its uh rust uh, rust rough clothes so uh that's bolted up nicely still again ignore me welding there but you can ignore that uh, everything's got real nice clearance tanks up everything just kind of looks and another thing i quite like about it is it gives it that stepped like an extra deep look there i think the like 88 30s um the the bigger later versions of what was the later iteration of this tractor like the from the 90s they had big plates that went down there and i always thought it looked pretty cool so this is kind of a hark back to that so instead of the plate going 
across there it drops down and uh, yeah it gives it that deep look i think that's pretty damn nifty i'm happy with that let's go fit the other side then the plates are on it's been about half a day working on them i'm no fabricator as you've known from the previous videos but um they're on and they all line up and they look proper and the bolts go through proper so uh, i'm happy with them so we've got all the bolts in now and everything's just uh, plumb and proper and just waiting on the power steering gear now uh, i'm going to try and source a new one because uh, i'm not sure about the one that i've got is going to get done the way i want it to so uh, that's all that's left i just want this i just want the power steering gear now what next uh nothing just put the side panel back on clonk and take it for a drive test drive i don't have anything more to report on that the current situation is this i still not got my gear back for the power steering it doesn't look like i'm going to get it anytime soon so backup plan the power steering uh pipe pressure pipe i've got this uh uh what i'm going to do is put a pipe straight into there straight into the spool in the back of the tractor and for now as long as, long as it just gets me steering the wheels then I've got some steering and I can I can move it out. I can then move on to get proper steering set up afterwards. I'm gonna try it first. I don't even know if the spools on the back work yet. She is in fact now on all four wheels. Um, completely done other than the steering, which we're gonna to cobble together using the rear hydraulics into the steering orbital. But as far as I'm concerned, the logs are out, everything's cleared out. If we can get that pipe done, go give it a spin um i hope it could be tonight if not maybe tomorrow but let's see how it goes yeah she's looking pretty good get that 